Hi everybody, it's Nancy, and guess what? I've stopped long enough sewing to show you what I've been sewing. I'm so happy. I'm going to sew my whole house now, I think. Uh, first of all, I come my the, the machine, the brother's machine comes with a DVD, so I learned how to do the bobbin thingy and the threading. Uh, which was very hard for me because uh, I am I am dyslexic and when I'm stressed or tired it comes out but anyway it's beside the point <laughs> look what I made I made none of the stuff I'm going to show you is uh, finished decorating because I just couldn't wait I have to stop and crochet now to crochet the leaves but I don't want to stop so I made all of these strawberries this is a little lopsided, but you know what? Strawberries are lopsided sometimes. Look, look. Oh, I want to send every one of you all one strawberry, but I can't. Look how cute. <gasps> I am so in love with my sewing machine. Okay, so these are my strawberries. And last night, after I learned the, thro the bobbin thingy and the threading, I wanted to make a heart. And it, it, I, it started out okay on one side, and then when I got to the other side, it was like, okay. Like, I sewed up this side, and that was okay, and that was okay, and then here is where I lost it, and it went like this. So that got thrown into the trash. So after I made these today, I said, okay, I'm going to try a heart again. Well, you know when you sew these, the fabrics face each other. So this heart isn't what I really wanted because I had the fabrics facing each other and I wanted to edge. And it's not a perfect heart, but you see, this is not round. But I'm going to alter it and hang it in my kitchen because I actually have uh, red and white checkered things in my cabinet, uh, you know, cloth in my cabinet and stuff. So I I think after I decorate it, it'll be okay. And if not, then it's going in the trash. But, you know, this was my first heart. And just now, I finished my second heart. And I'll tell you what I did. Because I have so much trouble making the curves, I took my paper my template and I pinned it to the fabric and I didn't outline it and take it off I left it on the fabric as I was sewing and that sort of kind it, it really really helped me you see a little bit here I, I stitched onto it but not even enough to uh, uh, leave it on the fabric it came right off so I think that's what I have to do to help me because this helps me guide the thingy that's, you know, where the needle goes in between the thingy and it helps me guide the needle around there better. So whatever I'm going to make, I think that's what I will do. So this is my second heart. Ta-ta! What do you guys think? Okay, and here's another thing. I think my tension is okay because you see here it's okay, right? But every time I I remembered somebody said when you sew, uh, you want to go, when you first start, you go forward and then you go back and then forward again to so it doesn't become undone. And see, every time I do that, it does, it's sort of kind of, it's not very pretty. I mean, it doesn't matter on this because I'm going to put laces and stuff on. But if I ever do my bug or a tilde doll, which is my goal, I don't know if I'll ever achieve it. I can't have this. You see, look here. Like, I reinforced it in here. I don't know. Can you, can you see where the stitches is? It's not pretty. It's like the stitches are too loose. But everywhere else, the tension is okay. Anyway, I am so I want to I want to sew my whole house. 
I am so, so happy. Pretty good, huh? Pretty good. So now I'm going to say goodbye and put my sewing machine back up here. And I'm going to sew some more hearts. And uh, I think I'm going to wait with the spring bug for a few weeks till I'm more comfortable. And then my spring bug. And then I will see. I do want to make a Tilda doll so bad. But anyway, wish me luck. So far I'm doing, I think, okay for somebody that never. I mean, the last time I sat behind a sewing machine, I was a child in school and I didn't pay attention. Like I, I, I think I told you all, I had, that was my only bad grade ever was in home economics. But anyway, so have a great weekend. Uh, thanks to all of my subbies, existing and uh, new. And have a wonderful day. And be good and kind to each other, okay? Oh, and thanks for your support and putting up with me. <laughs> okay, bye-bye.